Hello everyone, this is Omega45, and welcome to episode 20 of my modded Minecraft Let's Play. And uh, so in the last episode we put together uh, some machines up here, and I guess I put these in upside down, so they're right side up now. At least I hope they are. So I need to fix these though. Around with me, yes, I do. Or I could just do that. Guess not. There we go. Oh, it's marble. Whoops. You guys should be fine. All right, so that's just in place now. I'll replace the floor later, and I'll once I th think I have. A, I need to add signs below all these. What they are? Um, do I have a canning? That's not the right right canning machine. So I'll have to add another canning machine because I don't have the correct one right now. But as some of you may have seen in my inventory, this little guy. I have added rotary craft and reactor craft from Reka, and it's pretty cool. Um, there's a lot I want to get into and stuff like that. Um, I'm really, really excited. Like just some of the mob spawning stuff is really cool. Um, and here's like you can take your uh, your rotary craft energy and convert it into redstone flux and you can do the other way around the extractor if you give enough power it will just go insane and um, it will do up to five times uh, the ore and if you put the um, iridium ore in there it's up to 15 times as much so if you have one iridium ore like block of ore you can get up to 15 iridium ingots out of it so, but that takes like a, just a stupidly high amount of power. Um, but right now I'm heating up a blast furnace with some lava. I don't know if this makes a difference by putting it on more than one side, but we're gonna see here in a minute. Need some more lava. I mean, I would guess that lava is hotter than 600 Celsius. So once that gets up to 600, this will smelt down my steel, and I'll be able to start get going with rotary craft. Um, let's see, in here I'm just putting everything in to their respective deep storage units to kind of get some strain off of the cells. Um, it looks like this guy, oh, he's definitely not done. But very close. Yeah, it's almost there. What's the difference between the two of these? All right. So I can put storage buses on you. And you're not getting anything more? Nope. Pretty sure you're still going up. You're still going. You're definitely still going. All right, those are going to be going for a little while. So I just need to put that back. There we go. All right, so I'll be back once this has heated up. All right, so here we go. It's about to, there we go. All right, so this is gonna start cooking up my steel. And it does all nine at the same time. And I think, oh wow, okay. <laughs> um, so you can get extras um it's not always nine you can get more than nine sometimes like that one i just got 15. that one i got nine so it's pretty cool but you're gonna need lots and lots of steel for what um what you want to do steel is pretty pretty much the everything in this mod so and I think it's like a universal steel too, so you can um, yeah, you can use this for pretty much everything. Which is kind of ridiculous because it's like stupidly easy to make. Um 
I don't know if I'll be doing that, but we'll see. Because it, it, it does seem a little easy to make. Wow, I just got 18. That's double. All right, so um, I have redstone flux power, right? So there are certain engines that can take redstone flux, not that, and convert it into rotary craft energy, which is watts. So how rotary craft works is it's all about real physics. So you have shafts that spin at a certain speed, right? That's RPM. And then you have, whoops, take caps lock. And then you have torque, which is like how much power is, well, not power, but how much strength it is to twist so um yeah <laughs> that's kind of the best way i can describe it but that's probably an awful description and i'm sorry if someone else can explain it better in the comments i would be very very thankful so thank you so i need a work table made like that. So I'm going to need some bricks, stone slab. You know what I need to make is a... I don't know why I haven't done this already. Where is my access terminal? Because I'm pretty sure I grabbed it. Crafting terminal, there we go. All right, so let's hit that. Perfect. Oops. All right, one work table. And that is going to go there. I don't think this needs power. Yeah, no. So this, you can't like click in the middle and see what I can make, but that's all right. Magnetizing unit, magnetostatic engine. So I need base plates. So I'll get some of these. I think I can throw them in the work table and do it. Nope. Apparently not, which is kind of weird. You would think that if you need these, you'd be able to create them in your own crafting table, but I guess not. That's all right. And then. That. Okay. So that's going to be. Oh wow. Okay. On the sides, these go in the middle. This goes on the side. That's actually kind of annoying that you can't like. Um. Click into it. Plus, I'm also going to. Let's just grab this real quick. Silver and copper. Um, this is going to make auto crafting really difficult. Yeah, I don't have any of my recipes. I haven't brought my recipes over yet, uh, unfortunately. So, sorry about that. Excuse me. All right, and I need some lead. Hopefully, this will take any type of lead. Yes, it will. Cool. All right, so I have two magnetostatic engines. That's pretty awesome. So I'm guessing I can just turn them up and down as I please. Redstone flux. Cool. All right. Well, uh, can I pick? Oh, gee. Okay. So if you hit them, they break. Just letting you know that. So be careful. I believe you need a screwdriver. 
and yes, I mean, it needs its own um, screwdriver because it's can, it can be a standalone mod. So for those of you saying there's too many screwdrivers in the game, yeah, well, I mean, I, I guess I can't pick this up without breaking it. But um, yes, there are a lot of screwdrivers in the game, but that's just how it is. Sorry. All right. Well, um, I'm going to figure out what I want to do with these, and I will be back. All right, so I kind of want to try and make an extractor just to see what it's like. Um, so this is going to be fun. First, make a steel gear. Then we're going to need a, a round. Oh, steel scrap. Impeller. All right, I need some another rack. I'm gonna need one of these. What else do I need? I need a smooth stone, one of those plates, and a piece of wood. I know I have smooth stone somewhere. stone now. Ah, there we go. Okay. I knew I had some. So it's like this. Why can't... Why? Oh, it's the work table. That's right. This is really annoying. One of the things I don't really like. This is, I think, like that smooth stone and then what went over here oh yeah the drill so it's just like this all right so this can take quite a bit of power but I can't quite power it yet because the power needs to come into the bottom so I am going to need a I think shaft junction no, I need the one that um, can transfer it up and down. Rotary, let's see. This one. Bevel gears. So I need plates, another steel gear. That doesn't look too hard. That goes up there. I think it was this and this. I need a gear and some plates. Cool. Oh, wow, that makes quite a bit. So let's just do this over here for right now. Um, I need my magnetostatic engine. That's going to go like that. This is going to go like that. And you're going to get switched. No, oh, you are facing the correct way. So you. All right, input. Can't quite see. Of course, it's the last one I pick. What's the color on top? Blue. Uh, so if you hit it with your screwdriver, it will like show you what the side colors are, but it doesn't seem to like. Oh, okay. So you can't see kind of the outline. But let's put this guy up here, and then can I just like turn him? I guess not. Um, you also need to pump water into this. So let's grab a whoops aqueous accumulator. I don't have any. Where are they? Oh, I didn't think I put them in here. Oh, apparently I did. I need two water buckets. All right, so let's try this. And some fluid ducts too.
And lastly, some conduits, which I have plenty of. So that's outputting. All right, let's grab some iron ore. And let's bump this all the way up. This is probably going to take a while. So it's four and a half megawatts right now. So it just processed it down into iron ore dust, right? And once you have more power, this just like flies through. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably jump in my test world a little later and show you. Um, so I just got two from that one, I think. And then it, so it goes through like all these steps, right? And I don't know why it's not going through this one. It needs, it needs faster. Okay, it needs to spin faster. So this isn't quite enough for it. I guess, which is all right. Um, I might need to make some jet fuel or something. I don't know. Let me play around with it for a little bit and I'll be back. All right, so I'm gonna try and put a couple of magnetostatic engines together and see if that works. Um, so I'm gonna build a bunch of these shaft junctions and I'm gonna have four magnetostatic engines running. And I believe shaft junctions will allow you to put multiple um, things together. So let's see, where was that? Clutch, shaft junction. So I need six rods. I'm gonna need, I think it's like that. Oh, all the way around. Steel. And what did I need in the middle? Steel gear. Do I have any of those left? No. I have one left, but that's not enough. Okay. So let's grab these. I'm going to have to figure out kind of how to use them. <laughs> but, um, all right, so I need input on the orange side, or output on the orange side, input on the black side. Oh. Put orange black. There we go. I think these can just go like that. All right, well, we'll try that. Let's see if this even works. So let's grab some conduits. So that's turning. This one's not. Oh. Here we go. So that looks like it works. Let's grab some more magnetostatic engines and try this out again. Alright, so I built four more, so let's try this. So four megawatts. Four megawatts. Four megawatts. Four megawatts. So it is still not. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna have to figure this out. This is the first time I've actually played with this, so I really have no clue what I'm doing. I guess I'm just, I'm still not hitting that, um, hitting enough. So, let's see, how do I increase my rads? I'll figure this out. 
Oh yeah, real quick. Um, breaking stuff, use a normal pickaxe. And it works. Um, so what I'm going to add is a dino. That's not how you spell it, but close enough. So I need a screen. Oh, wow. Okay. This will tell you exactly what kind of power you're outputting. All right, what am I missing? I'm probably missing the steel and the gold. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. So I just need two of these, I guess. Um... Then I need a mount. Man, this stuff is pretty crafting intensive. But the thing is, like when you get to end game stuff, <laughs> this mod is insane. It scales unbelievably well. And you, we're not gonna see that anytime soon, but just take my word for it, like scaling is the name of the game for this game. there and then what do I need a shaft unit oh I got two okay so you're gonna go here I guess not um, I think it works like that all right let's get some bevel gears and then, okay, so I want the input to be black, output blue. Perfect. Wow. Uh, and then where's my extractor? So that's two thousand. Is this is it like does it stack or no, it just increases torque. So whatever is the lowest is the lowest. Now there are ways to speed this up. So I need what was it, double? No, I need four times. So C T V I think it's called. No. There is something you can do. Uh, where is it? There's like a machine you can use to increase, like decrease torque, but add speed. And you can, there's like lots of different gears ratios you can use, but this is like a uh, one stop shop kind of thing. So let me find it, and I'll put it together, and I'll be back. All right, guys, so I figured it out. It's called the CVT unit. And grab that, and then just do one more thing. This requires belts. So you need to do like that. Cool. So this should allow me to increase the speed and lower the torque. So I'm just gonna pick that up, pick that up, pick that up. So this is gonna go just like that. Dynamometer, where is it? Where's my dyno? It's gonna go like that. It's almost falling off. All right, so this needs to go black, blue. Extractor on the top. Duct. Before I start all this stuff, I'm gonna throw it. Oh, can I not put it back in? Oh, I can. Okay, there we go. And let's see. So I want for speed. I want four to one. 
So let's see if this works. Okay. When you place stuff down, output should be facing you. So it's red. So you need red to go over there. Red to go over there. Okay. How do I make Oh, I think you make it with like canola seeds. Requires lubricant but will not consume it. Okay, let me just figure out how to make a little lubricant and I'll be right back. Alright, so it seems you need to throw seeds in a grinder. Let's see. I hope it's not any like special seeds. That doesn't look too hard. Alright, I've been crafting a lot, so I'm not going to bore you guys with this. Alright, so I went over to some newly generated terrain way out there. And, um, and got one seed. Now, if you bone meal it and harvest it, You actually get quite a few of these. So yeah, I have lots. Just throw away the stuff I don't really need. There. That should be plenty for now. just replant a couple apparently these are not able to be harvested from MFR machines but that's okay because rotary craft adds its own stuff that is kind of better but that's end game so I have to do a little bit of manual harvesting in the time being but I'm just gonna plop these down and those will grow oh whoops I probably shouldn't have jumped thought I may jump back on but apparently not Cool, so that is making lubricant. Slowly but surely it is making lubricant. I need a bucket. I'm not sure how much you need um, for this, but we'll see in a minute, I guess. Oh, this is consuming quite a bit of power. All right. I will be back in a moment. Alrighty, I have my first bucket of lubricant. So that went in there. I guess that's all it really needs. I just like to turn this off. There, whatever. Alright, let's try this. Let's turn these guys on. Is that running? Yes. So that should be going now. I guess this thing just needed more speed. So as you can see, um, I started off with a stack and we're gonna see how much I end up with. It'll probably be quite a bit more. So this is, it's not going as fast as it can, but 
Um, yeah, it's not going as fast as it can. Not nearly as fast. Cool. Uh, the next thing I want is probably a friction generator. I'm just going to leave that running. Plenty of power. Okay. So, let's just. Uh, actually, I want a rotor craft chest just to keep things separate real quick. Because I'm going to be using lots of this stuff. I get rid of my those for right now. My screwdriver in here. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Oh, sweet! I got some aluminum powder. See, so, so you have um, the ability to get quite a bit from each of these processes. Twelve and a half megawatts. That's pretty good for just starting. Uh, just starting with this. Alright, uh, I'm going to look into a friction generator and I'll be right back. Alrighty, here we go. Friction heater, excuse me, not generator. So what this does is if you get a normal vanilla furnace, you can put this on the back of it. And, oh, this is probably a really bad t place to put this. Um, you know what, I'm just gonna let this do one, I'll be right back, I'm gonna figure this out. Alright, so I just attached it over here where the grinder used to be, but this is going to heat up, right, and it's gonna run on the back of the furnace. Uh, its highest heat is 2000, I believe, I don't, I don't think this is gonna make it quite that high with the engine I'm using, but it will get decently high. So I'm just gonna grab something I want to smelt real quick. Um, let's just let's do some cobble. Actually, let's, let's make some glass. And, oh, that finished. Okay, never mind. I'll just do some soon. So, so vanilla furnace. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, it goes pretty fast. And this isn't even at max heat. Like, this is not even close. Once this is done processing I'll throw it on here like on the end of this and you'll see just how fast this thing goes <laughs> so yeah pretty crazy alright so it finished processing and this is what I got from one stack of iron ore one just one alright so let's take a look at what you can do with this now I think this should be enough to get it up to 2,000, I think. Big guess there. It'll display in Wayla. How hot it's getting. Alright, 1575. I'm not sure if this one's torque or speed. I th I'm pretty sure it wants speed. Who knows? Yeah, okay, it wants speed. <laughs> I can't really get any higher. I mean, well, I can here. Let's pump it up another notch. Actually gone down, so I guess eight is the magic number. Well, let's throw this stuff in there. So yeah, each one of these flakes is an ingot. So 
so I just got five stacks of iron from one stack of iron ore. Pretty crazy, huh? This is the fastest smelting in the game right now. I'm setting it at 17.05 right now. So yeah, this stuff consumes a lot of power, but I've been actually kind of looking for a power sink. I mean, I have six big reactors all producing f almost 5,000 RF a tick, so I'm not really, like, that bad for energy. Plus, I installed reactor craft, so if I really am in need for energy, um, I have about, I think the the huge reactor he just implemented, it maxes out at like 5 million RF a tick or something like that. So, yeah. <laughs> Pretty crazy. I'll see the aluminum too. Oh my god. Um. Wow. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> that is insane. Um, for, for those of you who didn't just realize what happened, uh, I got 13, or 38, Greg Tech. Alright, Greg Tech aluminum ingots. That is unbelievable. Wow. That's crazy. Okay, so, where to go from here? Uh, this is making me rethink my entire processing setup downstairs. Um, and I might keep a little bit of it, but the bulk is probably going to go through extractors. Um, so this is probably all going to disappear. And I'll move my two grinders over there because they're not just used for um, processing ores. They're actually used for building fusion reactors and stuff like that. But this stuff, these are going to go. These can stay, but they'll probably move over to the other side. Or I'll just do the processing on the other side. That's probably easier. That way I don't have to move these. Um, this will be for auto crafting or something else. Because running the f friction heaters all the time is going to just, it, it, yeah, too much power. Um, so you can actually add clutches onto everything that will um, uh, 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 stop the uh, energy transfer, I think. Or you can just turn off engines. I'm not sure. I'll figure it out. Um, but I'm going to do a control room with wireless redstone. And I'll, that'll probably be in here. I'll just do like levers on the walls. Um, Alright, well, let me. You know, I was putting off putting my reactors in, but now I kind of have a reason why. Um, so they're going to go in here. I'm going to carve this out a little bit more, and um, I'm going to start putting those in. So, yeah. Alright guys, so this is what I have so far, and my FPS has dropped, um, can't figure out why it's only at 30, it should be much higher than that, but, um, so this is what this room is going to kind of look like, I haven't done the walls or anything yet, I have no clue I'm going to do the walls, um, but where the sandstone is is where the reactors are going to sit, and then down here is, I'm not sure what I wanted to do down here yet, but, um, it's another room I can use. So this will this will probably just be the basement to this because it's got a dual, or it's got two levels for the floor. Um, at least it should, I mean. I might put rotary craft stuff down here, who knows? But I'm, uh, I'm gonna start pulling down the reactors outside and I'll start moving in here. So. I'll lay down the bases for each of the reactors, and um, I'll be back, and you guys can probably see me build one or two of them. Alright guys, so just a quick update. I have set down the reactors, and I've put in all the fuel rods and cooling diamond blocks. So I just wanted to give you a little, like, look. It's pretty cool without the uh, reactor casings. I like the look of the fuel rods in the middle. It's pretty sweet. But uh, I'll finish putting all the glass on these, and I'll put in the ender, and I'll show you when I'm done. 
All right, guys, so they are built. The ender is in, and the I think that one is producing power right now. Uh, I have to make some more test racks because I'm going to do wireless power, and that goes into the main storage, and then the main storage will output to the rest of the base. Um, speaking of storage, boom. Uh, I pulled out all the energy cubes. These are all the energy cubes I own. So I pulled them all out, and... Um, of the uh, the floating base over there, and put them in this. They haven't. I mean, at least I can't see which ones are getting power right now. But I know they should be because this one's running and it doesn't have any power in it. So yeah, and it's receiving energy. Um. These are all pretty much. Full. Let's see. I make sure. Where is the power going? <laughs> oh, do I have to do this? No. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's why. It was sending it to the wrong place. There we go. Alright. It's all good now. <laughs> I was wondering why I wasn't getting any power. So remember to always have your test racks set to the right place or else they don't work. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it's splitting evenly now. Perfect. Alright, so I need to make some more test racks, um, but that's probably going to be done off camera, and then I need to do the walls in here and such. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.